All right, happy holidays from the Culinary Institute of America. <laughs> Chef Egan is here. Hi. Hi. Hey, where'd Jose go? Oh, he's Where's Jose? He's smoothing. All right, well, he'll, he'll be back. Oh, there he is. Jose, we got to show off your sweater because we're talking <laughs> gingerbread. Yeah. Gingerbread. Look at this. Look at this gingerbread. I, I would call it a house, but it's more of a McMansion. This thing. Look at this. It's so funny because I, I don't think it's that big. Really? How much does it weigh? I probably will get this one, right? This this looks beautiful. Now this yeah. I'm assuming I like the back the best. I'm assuming this is fresh gingerbread oh, that you guys yeah. made. Oh wow, look yeah. at that. Yeah, and I I love the shutters too. But I, I I it's so funny, I did like kind of a gingerbread cardinal sin yesterday where I baked it, yeah, put it together and decorated it all in one day. Oh you're not supposed to do that? No, because the, the frosting needs to harden. So this is oh, royal well, it icing. Came, it came out great. It Thanks, really did. I know. Wow. Mm, gumdrop. Yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> All right, so now, my son and I, we did a gingerbread house this weekend. Yeah. And we, we got the... I know. We got the pre-made <laughs> gingerbread from the box. Yeah. Just because we're not going to eat ours, it's just more of a decoration. And because my son's Ooh. hands are all over it, I'm not going to eat that. It's <laughs> it's like picking his nose and putting M&Ms and stuff on there. But I tried my best to like do like piping and stuff like that. Is right. there is there a, like a trick to that? Because I suck at it. Oh my God, you sound like my students. You know what the trick is? What? Practice. Good practice. Yeah, sorry. But no, I mean, there's a trick in that. It's also the way you hold the bag. I wish I had a bag I would show you, but. So but if, if you're not familiar, it's like it came with this big plastic bag and you cut the little tip off the yeah. bottom and you put all the icing in it. And then I twisted the top and was yeah. like squeezing it, yeah. but it would keep farting out yeah. the back, okay, and I had so, icing like all over my so hands. Yeah, okay, it was so this, the worst. This is definitely something a, a plastic wrap belt. And the reason why we call it a plastic wrap belt What's a plastic is plastic wrap belt. So sometimes, like as a cook, you'll go to work and you'll put on your pants that are like you know they, they have them rented, and so there's only double XL pants left. Mm -hmm. So what are you gonna do? You gotta get a plastic wrap belt. So you get a piece of plastic wrap, a long piece, <laughs> you put it, and then you wear it as a belt. You keep your pants right. on. Culinary but, secret. We're getting all culinary secrets. <laughs> but the plastic wrap belt is also perfect for tying up the end of, oh, a, of a bag, up. and then you tie the knot, uh, yeah, and then right. you're good. Uh, it, it's not gonna come out the back. Wish you were there yesterday. Ah uh, well. <laughs> Icing all over everything. <laughs> all right, so now let's talk cookies because we were just on the air talking yeah. about your secret. Yeah, to and these cookies. moved around in the car. I was kind of driving like a maniac. Oh, these are sugar cookies. Look yeah. at that. Yeah. These are beautiful looking. Thank you. They were arranged a little bit more beautifully. Now I'm gonna taste one of these because I know the secret. You the said sacred. you said on the air that you put a little pinch of salt. Yeah, into these every... actually have a good amount of salt, but you'll say. You know, so if you do the face. So again, you wouldn't eat them and think salt, but when you're aware of it, you're like they're slightly salty. I'm getting, so I'm getting a little bit of that salt on my tongue as right? I'm eating them, but it really, it brings out the flavor of the sugar and makes it it's like just a, good. it amps up the butter it flavor. It amps it up, yeah, big time. Yeah, so salt raises the volume. Now, but you don't use salted butter. No, or do you use salted no, butter? but if you do, so my sister once called me in a panic because she said, "Chrissy, I bought salted butter and I got it." I said, "Well, just lower the salt in the recipe." So the recipe calls for a half a teaspoon, maybe put a quarter of a teaspoon. Okay, so it's yeah. not a big deal. Yeah, not a big deal. All right, this is delicious. Good, yeah. They're really, really good. They're really good. I don't even like sugar cookies, but I love those. Yeah, and sugar cookies—that's a simple recipe, sugar yeah. cookie, right? But yeah, you're saying putting that little extra pinch yep. of salt in there will mm -hmm. will elevate it. Yeah. All right, you're the best. Ah, oh, so thanks. good. Oh, Happy holidays. Are, no, you guys are actually going to eat this, right? Uh, we, we already yeah. started. Uh, <laughs> already eating. Yeah. We promise not, things are beautiful. We promise not to smash it with a giant Darth Vader like we did with the okay. uh, chocolate All right. turkey. All right, you can just break it apart. We got in trouble with our engineering department for doing that. Oh, well, I'm last not surprised. Time, so. Yeah. <laughs> it was worth it though. It was a lot of fun. All right, so Chef Egan, Jose, yeah, Gingerbread Man over there. Yeah. Um, if you uh, want to learn more about all these great things, the Culinary Institute of America is a great resource. They do these great weekend classes. Mm -hmm. I was just talking about how my wife took this cooking class. She learned all sorts of these great tips. And that would be an impressive last-minute gift. It's cool, then. It just really saying. would be. If you're looking for a good gift, they, you, they do classes all year long, like uh, mm -hmm. savory classes and dessert classes. Yep. So check it out, ciachef.edu. Um, Cookies and gingerbread with the Culinary Institute of America. There you go.